and we're and we're back after talking to this piece of shit. Yeah, the asshole. God, I wish I could kill him. <sighs> Me too. Me too. Come on. Let's go see what the uh, Barlavan guy that wants. Yeah, true. Be interesting to hear what he has to say about it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Long way down. I, I guess with things like that, right now we could just do it the other way around with what I don't play about showing to Possibly. you. Possibly. Let's go to I the final. I don't remember all the puzzles, though. <laughs> it's okay, I don't remember everything about this game. Yeah, but you know, Lemulan is a bit of a. It's hard to describe it. What's this? One of the Earth Clan? Oh. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Sarah. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. I think I know. <laughs> His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him to know more. Oof. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite Shepard, people like us. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. 
All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Fair enough. Enough? I should know. <laughs> of course we do. Goodbye, Commander. <coughs> Is it what I spent the entire conversation trying to figure out how much of the mask was actually part of his face or not? Uh, the whole thing's a suit. Yeah, but like the part of the mouse seemed like it was semi-transparent. Uh, so no. It wasn't really was no. like a no. no, it's no. it's a respirator. Okay. Yes. La uh, vo Vol has come from a high gravity, or, no, 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 a low pressure, um, uh, ammonia atmosphere, if I remember right. Oh. So if that suit ruptures, he's dead in several different ways. Right, so we could go to uh, CSEC to go talk to Rex, or we could go to the clinic to go talk to Garrus. Which one do you think? Um, Garrus first. Garrus? Yeah. Alright. Best boy. Oh. That was smart, Dodd. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Not very good cover there, bro. That's how we put it. What is going on with my cover? There we go. Even those dogs had shields. Everyone's got shields, basically. I just that they they didn't seem like they had the armor for it. But they don't. Think we got him, Maybe they were also biotic because raisins. <laughs> Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. <laughs> what were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. <laughs> a little bit of an afterthought there, isn't it? I know mm -hmm. those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the quarry. <laughs> uh... When, he, when we got on Garrus for taking the shot while he was holding her hostage. He's like, I didn't have time to think, I just, uh, Dr. Michelle, are you okay? He's like, oh yeah, shit! <laughs> Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Sarah. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? 
She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in here. Yes, I think. <laughs> Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. This is what, what I, I just immediately assumed as the tank. <laughs> brought Rex in for a little like, talk. I wonder why. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, now, who are we bringing? Garrus. Well, of course. Now we want Ash or Caden. Caden's a biotic. Ash is pure combat. Mm hmm. Difficult choice. A part of me just wants to go with Garrus and Rex. Yeah, we don't have Rex. Yeah, so I haven't actually met the other two yet, so... For now, Caden, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna get replaced very soon. Oh, absolutely. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking. No. No. Okay. It does not seem like it. No. Oh, Mighty Joe. And I didn't get any out of it. Got a codex entry, though. Eh? Yeah, it's something. Random codex entry for the nice view. Yeah. And there's the Destiny Ascension. That's, uh, pretty big. That tells me basically nothing, but okay. That's the flagship. Uh, like, the fleet that protects the Citadel? The thing drifting uh, by is the flagship. Uh, yeah. It's a lot farther away than it looks. You know, how to C-Sec. I have to remember where I'm going. Is it Presidium? No, I think actually it's a ward's location. No? Hmm. Hmm. I know there's a way to it from here. Ah, over there. <laughs> downstairs. So right to... Yeah, downstairs. Yeah, if you, you, if you highlight the arrows, it tells you where it's going. Fair enough. Let us sink in. Six hours on board that ship, and I only saw a tenth of it. Mm -hmm. And that's still time in comparison to the city. Yeah. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah, fair enough. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. 
I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, Seasick gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Yeah. See you around, Commander. I suspect aliens would appreciate it a lot more than humans seem to do lately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hanar are the big jellyfish aliens, by the way. Yeah. The ones I like. Yep. I mean, I like most of the aliens. <laughs> Your biotics are impressive, Lieutenant. I'm surprised that humans stop using the L2 configuration with results like yours. My addicts can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. Humanity will be judged by the sacrifices its people are willing to make, Lieutenant. The Turians would have kept the L2 implants. Well, hmm. we're not Turian. Just thing. Yeah, just. Interesting anyway, yeah. Found a tank. Found the tank. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from here. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <coughs> <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. Uh, Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. <laughs> now it's worth noting, if we bring him, he's gonna make good on his word. So, I have actually, I'm not sure if we can spare Fist, but you definitely don't get that option if we bring him along. Do we even want to spare Fist anymore? I don't know, I've never tried. You're the merciful one here. Yeah, but I like Rex a lot more than the two humans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my only reason for deciding to kill Fizz before even meeting him. <laughs> also, minor detail here. Turians and Krogans hate each other. I mean... Not very surprising. Well then, let's go turn over a strip club. I mean, like the two main combat factions, right? Something like that. Well, I have then trouble. we have to clear that consort's name anyway. Oh yeah, that's over at the embassies. We're gonna oh, end what? up over there soon anyway. Enemy sighted! Didn't even have a chance to get anything. Did I? I did. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. You're the one who knows this. Fuck. Game. I was reaching for the medi gel button. I pressed the wrong one anyway. Darling, I think a table chair is not very good cover. Shut up, you. My cat wants out of the room. But she's just gonna oh, she does. She's a cat. She's just gonna have to wait. Yeah. Rex, get out of the way. <coughs> it's the friendly fire. No, not as far as I know. That's good, at least. I'm fine. My shields are just... God damn it. Rogan. Oh, Stop. 
stay down. Just making extra sure. Hey, he was regenerating. Yeah, I noticed there was still a red dot on the map. Or red that, I guess. No, they said. Oh, uh, not a grenade. Well. Do you have a limited ammo as well, or just. Nope. Okay. Unlimited ammo. Plus shields! Ow. Oh, I can't uh, scope in while I'm critical. Hmm. There we go. Come on. Yeah, he didn't like that much. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse one. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'd never like Fist anyway. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Free Paragon! Ooh, yep. loot. What the what the heart decryption is like? Pain in the ass. Yes, yeah, that's all right. Hey, that that's what Dominic yell is for, right? Yeah, I'm noticing I can't do. I haven't been able to do that, which makes me wonder. Maybe you can only do that after you fail. Mm hmm. You haven't exactly failed yet. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarry. Oh, before we run. Do you have an actual time? Beam? Yes. But it pauses when I do that. Fair enough. Interesting. Optical storage disk. Might be useful. Now, running, running, running. Now. Right. Dang it! You gotta stop doing that. Yes, yes you do. That's about your grenades, bro. Yeah, never any grenades. Just throwing them all. Oh, your aim really goes wild when you keep on shooting. No kidding. Might also want to remember to uh, spend my points. Yeah, maybe you have a a few. Just a few. This is an infiltrator hasn't spent a single point in infiltrate. Nope. Yeah, sounds <laughs> like you have. Oh, hey. Yeah, I can now. So you, that's why it was laid out. Yeah, you have to spend enough points. Just like if I spend enough points in armor, I can equip medium armor. 
That's why I'm so flimsy. I'm wearing light armor. Uh, I can't be arsed. Might also have I spent points on these guys. Yeah, maybe. It is nice that the Medic Yellow applies to the whole squad. Thank God. That's the time you actually know the way. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Smart girl. Oh yeah, Rex is biotic. I forgot that. Now I'm ready. Hmm. Oh, I'm overheated still. A destructive kind of fire think it's sense. Really is an indoor time. I mean, fair enough, but you know. I guess the infiltrator is a bit up. more stealthy. I knew or something. I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Taking your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Get. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. 
According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Mm. <laughs> That's quite a lot of tech. Yes, she's pure tech. Same way Ash is pure combat. What do you think her specialty in the middle is going to be? Maybe she, she could possibly be pure biotic. Yeah. Mm, so let's bring... Garrus. No, this is difficult. <laughs> Always Garrus. <clears throat> yes, we can bring Tali for now. See how they interact with each other. <laughs> what do you imagine is, is its own special thing? Yep. Increases tech resistance and increases shields. That's pretty good. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Wrong game. We're not playing Skaven yet. Hey, there's those guys. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? It was a Turian named Septimus who found out your secret. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, this should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. Interesting it was species. An mistake. Mm -hmm. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. 
You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my volus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Golas territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <coughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Mm. Tell me about Volus. He sounds salty about it. <laughs> we are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable. And our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. In other words, capitalism ho, the species. Sounds hard, right? I should have really that. <laughs> yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. He's a bit of an asshole. I mean. We've already met worse, but... Yeah, yeah. At least it's not openly hostile. <laughs> Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you More sounds like he's just done with shit. <laughs> Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. <laughs> I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Damn it, we should have brought Ashley. Ashley was in the 212. She has dialogue oh. here. Why did they refuse your request? What? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ash would have some lines about just kind of, you know, trying to make him feel better. Talking about his wife always talking about him and thinking about him. You know, stuff you'd expect from, from a wife's... What's compatriot, I guess? I don't know. I'm not yeah. sure. Coworker isn't the right word here. My goodness, know. you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. 
You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. As if there's a question, a question of what to pick up here. Yeah, like, I see why they do that, but at the same time... Like, I see your point, but this isn't right. Yeah. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to... St Beyond that, Commander, mm, there was we need as many bodies as we <laughs> can to get a reasonable sample size. True. <laughs> he like, he took that type of damage and he was in good condition. Quite good condition. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. Alright, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Good boy. My first C-Sec post is going to stay. Mostly for sure. Not much around here. Smart kid. Knows him to fold him. Yeah, Commander Shepard telling him to is usually a good Hello indication. Again, Commander. Yeah. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. I can wander all the way across and go talk to the Asari again. Yeah. Like, don't you have somewhere important to be? No. How long have we been recording? Uh, uh, a while. We'll finish the side quest and call it there. Okay. Because <laughs> right as I was getting happy for keep, keeping a good track of the length and about 40 minutes yeah it's not that long seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den the embassy lounges are bad but they don't have any decent entertainment it's not by bureaucrats they probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get <laughs> <laughs> you're probably right but yeah. It's nice that those two get along well at least. <laughs> yeah. No racism. Yeah. That sure is nice, isn't it? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt cold. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. So you are the first of your kind to respond to Really? I hadn't seen any of the humans working here, but I didn't quite pass. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Glad, Derek, glad she's a bit more open-minded. Yeah. It's all been herder, human this, and herder, human that. Herder, right. human's gonna kick your ass if you don't shut up. <laughs> Yeah. I do think that the dress is really weird. A lovely <laughs> note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with me. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Yeah, well. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through. Proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. 
It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Jaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can. Yeah, it is unusual. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Yeah, it's, they will give it's kind of like... How to describe it? A three-piece bikini. I'm not even sure what to call it. Like, it it's exposes a the general shape of a bikini, except it also has an extra thing in the middle. And like, it clearly is meant to expose skin, yet at the same time, cover. Yeah, like, I meant the inner part of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, the one that's sitting looks like she just has a bikini, but I also know that the waist is further down than that, so it's not really... Yeah, it's just like... Know? It's... it's weird. It's alien fashion, don't ask. Okay, we're done here. Yep. We are... Have fun? Done. Um, we'll see you next time. Later!